So here with uh, Brian Holiday, former uh, TCU catcher, former uh, uh, MLB catcher, professional catcher extraordinaire. Uh, you're with uh, with Coach Slosnagel with TCU, uh, and um, back in the day, what do you remember? What do you say is the key points of of playing for Coach Slosnagel? Man, I think if I had to like narrow it down to you know any specific key point, I would just kind of say you know. Uh, the fact that, you know, he, he really built a culture of striving for excellence, you know, on and off the field. I think to me, that was the, you know, probably the most important thing that, you know, that he really tried to drive home and, and did a great job uh, throughout all the guys, just getting everybody to commit to it and be on the same page. Yeah. What, um, what, what, if you could epitomize one moment or, or think about one moment that epitomized who Coach Schlossnagel was as a coach and a person, is there one that you can think back of? Oh, man, I don't, I don't know if there's any uh, one in particular moment. Um, I mean, there are definitely moments to stand out, but I don't know if I could pinpoint one moment that, you know, epitomizes them. But, um, you know, if I, if I had to think about it, you know, he definitely uh, – He's definitely pretty good at uh, the pregame speeches and, and rallying the troops uh, in time of need. So I think, you know, his his ability to uh, to do that in a timely manner and, and deliver those kind of messages, you know, when it mattered most, I think that that was a pretty pretty strong attribute, attribute of his. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of talk, and we, we talked to him today, and he, he liked to talk about the, the assistant coaches that he brought in and what he likes to – the roles and they like to distribute to them and, and delegate to them. How, how did you see that structure with the guys that, that you worked with, the assistant coaches, how they were able to affect you and, and how that kind of whole coaching structure worked from a player's perspective? Yeah, I mean, he, he did, he did a tremendous job of, of, you know, surrounding himself with good people, you know, good coaches and people that he could trust. And, and I mean, our staff there while, while I was there with, Randy Maisie and Todd Whitting and Ryan Schatzberger. I mean, those guys were awesome coaches and great people. And I think, you know, having people like that that he can trust that that are, you know, all on the same page and all buying into the culture, I think that really, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy to do in college baseball. And I think he he has a, um, a really good knack for finding guys like that. You know, it seems like, you know, no matter – like every, every guy he has leaves and, and gets a head coaching job somewhere. And, uh, and, you know, he's able to he's able to fill the hole and, and keep moving forward. Some of the things I talked about some of the other guys is just the focus that he put in on the mental game and how important the, the thing is between your ears, that is, then your, your, your arm, your legs, your hitting. How much of a key was that to you, not only at TCU, but then moving on in your professional career as well? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's definitely a difference maker, you know. Like, it's one of those things that definitely goes under the radar that everybody kind of takes for granted. But, you know, the mental aspect is is probably the most important. And, uh, you know, he definitely made that, a, you know, a big a big point of something that we worked on constantly, daily, and, uh, and really, you know, like had to stay dedicated to it. And I think, you know, it's, it's definitely something that I wouldn't have, you know, thought about at the time, but it definitely impacted me in my career and still does, you know, it's still something that, that I practice every day and, and have to, you know, account for every day uh, to be at my best. Two more for you and I'll let you go. The, the, uh, you, we talk about the mental game. Is there another part of the game, whether it comes to the way you approach defense, the way you approach hitting uh, or anything like that, that you learned at TCU, you learned from coach Schloss that, that you really remembered as you went into your professional career, that this is, this is, I got this there and, and, and I, you carried it on. Oh man, it's honestly so much, so much of what I do to this day is, is things I learned at TCU. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's like in, in, in every, every aspect of the game, mentally, defensively, offensively, you know, I still, I still do my whole routine thing where I find my little label on the bat and, and take the deep breath and, and all that stuff, you know, it, every, every little thing there that we learned, you know, it's, it's definitely shaped me to the ball player that I am today. And, and I definitely still still use it as much as I can. You know, there, there are probably some things I need a refresher on, honestly. <laughs> It'd probably help out a bunch if I could go back and, and uh, 
you know, touch some of those things up. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to say, I know you're a you're a Horn Frog, and 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 you, you yeah. know, you'll, you'll root for them. But with Coach Schloss here, do you see him as a coach that can be successful in in the SEC and, and carry those those same successes from TCU down here? Yeah, no doubt. He he he's a guy that's going to have success wherever he goes. You know, he his his work ethic is you know unparalleled, and and you know his commitment and his his striving for excellence is just something that it's going to, he's going to find success one way or the other. He's going to make it happen. So I have no doubt that he's going to, he's going to, you know, do great things there. You know, I mean, just think about how, how much different the program at TC is now and, and, and the way he left it, you know, opposed to the way he found it. You know, I, I have no doubt that he's able to do those same things wherever he goes.